Hey, and hello to all of you. This week, I bring you another instalment of our What's In Your Closet Sew Along, which is hosted by Pat Sloan at her website, ilovetomakequilts.com. The theme for this week's block is leisure wear. Share your stories of leisure wear when you share your completed block over at Pat's Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. If you haven't done so already, jump over to Pat's website, download this week's free pattern, come back here, and I'll show you how I do it. Another week, another lot of fabric cut out as per the pattern. We have our light, medium, and dark, as I've been working with throughout this whole deal, and I haven't substituted anything for anything else. The first thing we need to do is attach our small light rectangle to one side of all of our pieces of medium and dark fabric. So you'll see me here in a moment, make my two little stacks, take that to the machine and I'm gonna stitch my quarter inch seam, attaching one small light rectangle to all of my medium and dark pieces. Now that we've attached all of our light rectangles to both our medium and dark fabrics, I'm going to separate these into the stacks of the medium and the dark fabric. Now I'm going to press the pieces of medium fabric towards that light rectangle and for the dark fabrics I am going to press towards the dark fabric. This will allow at future steps for us to nest those seams nice and snugly and you know I'm a fan of that and I plan ahead with my pressing. I don't plan ahead with much else but I plan ahead with my pressing. So we're going to press the dark pieces towards the dark fabric and our medium pieces we will press towards our light fabric. What you just saw me fast forwarding through there was me just correcting one piece where I didn't have my right sides together before I stitched my seam so I just had to unpick that and make sure it was correct. We're now going to take our remaining light squares and set our quadrants out as per the pattern and the little inset there in the top left hand corner. We'll lay all these out first and then we'll start by stitching our little square unit that's made up of the two little rectangles onto our squares and then we'll attach those units to our large rectangle that we already created earlier. We'll then have all four quadrants of our block done and we can move on to the following steps. You probably noticed throughout that footage that once I attached the white squares to my little bar units that I pressed out towards those large white squares. They all fall on the outside of the block so they can all be pressed in the same direction as we're not needing to nest those with any other seams. If you are making a quilt completely out of this block you might need to consider your pressing direction depending on where the block placement was going. But for our purposes today we could just press out towards that solid square. 
When it comes to pressing the seam that we've just done here on the longer seam attaching the two units, for the dark ones we will press towards the piece that has that seam in the middle which you can see me doing now and for the medium fabric we'll press towards the one that has the larger piece of the medium fabric and then when we go to sew this all together in its four patch form again all of our seam allowances will nest like I said before pressing in me we're close and we consider each other we're very considerate so with all of our pressing done, I'll put this out in a four patch fashion, making sure we alternate light and dark as per the pattern. And this will now go together as a four patch. We will start by sewing the vertical seams and then the horizontal seam. In both instances, we'll press towards that medium fabric or in my case, the red. And I'm just showing you here that all of our seams are nesting. So we will press towards the medium fabric and then when we sew that horizontal seam, you guessed it, those seam allowances will all nest nicely and we'll have very crisp points. Perfect, even. So it seems that while I'm very uh, astute at planning ahead with my pressing directions, I'm not as astute at planning ahead for my bobbin thread. As you may or may not have noticed throughout there, I had to change my bobbin as I was sewing with air along the way. But now that we have sewn that final seam, we just need to pick a direction and press. And our block for this week was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it is done. everyone thank you so much for being here and joining me for another fun-filled week of how to step-by-step -step tutorials i really do enjoy putting these together and i would love for you to leave me a comment in the box below it really helps me out and uh, it's a great way of engaging with you all also while you're there put the little thumbs up for me will ya there's a treasure Subscribe if you haven't already done so and tickle that little bell icon to be notified of all my future releases. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.